Hello, welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Purple Inks comparison video, and this is Purple Inks comparison number two. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first couple of inks are ink samples. I don't actually have a full bottle of ink, so this is Franklin Christoph Tenebri Perperatum. And I don't actually have a full size bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill this ink miser up because I do need to be able to get this large nib in there. So I'm going to fill that up just by emptying the ink sample. And strangely enough, <laughs> I don't have a lot of ink in there. So this is going to be a little bit of in interesting. But this was given to me by a friend, and I think it was probably a year or two ago, and I've really not used this ink because I'm not normally an ink samples person. So we'll try and saturate this, and we'll do an ink swatch. So this is the Franklin Christoph ink. So we'll do a little bit more of a second pass here. Round off these edges a little bit. See if we can get a little bit of sheen going on there. I can just about dip the nib. So this is Franklin Christoph. And it's Tenebri. And it's Perperatum. And that already is actually starting to look like a nice purple ink. The next ink is actually a Colt Pens Deep Dark Purple. And this is actually a much fuller ink sample. And I actually remember when I got this that I took a little bit more ink than I probably should have done from a friend and they did chastise me for that as well. Personally an ink sample to me is a full vial of ink and if that's a seven milliliter vial it's a seven milliliter vial. So let's do an ink swatch here. Now I am already liking this purple. It's going to be interesting to see how this comes out in the writing sample. I have not tried this purple ink before. And again, I've had this probably for a couple of years. So that to me. So this is the Colt Pens. And this is Deep Dark. Purple. Now, this is a diamine ink. The next thing I have is a full bottle of ink, and this is diamine bilberry. And this is quite a nice coloured ink that I like. I do use quite a lot. And you can see here, that's the colour of the ink. And there is actually quite a bit of sheen around that bottle edge as well, around the threads. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this to me is more of a sort of purple. So this is diamine. Bilberry. But that is a lovely purple ink that I like a lot. The next ink I have is Diamine Grape, and I have it in this smaller 30 milliliter bottle. Because I didn't honestly know if I would like this ink or not. So, we'll do an ink swatch. I do find this is a little bit more of a drier ink. There you go, it's a little bit wetter there. So, this is Diamine Grape. 
which to me is a very grape colored ink. The next ink is the Montegrappa, and this is Montegrappa Violet. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I haven't actually written with this ink yet. This is a new ink that I've added to my collection. It does seem to be a little bit more on the drier side of things. Just third pass maybe. See if we can get a little bit more ink on there and see if it sheens as well. So this is Montegrappa. And this is just violet. The next ink is Jehaban and it's Poisset de Lune. So we'll do another ink swatch here. You can see that that's actually a very different kind of purple. Almost like a lavender. So this is Jehaben. And it is Poisset de Lune. The next ink is Waterman Tender Purple. So we'll do another ink swatch. Saturate this a little bit more. And that actually to me looks very similar to that Montegrappa Violet. So this is Waterman, and it's tender purple. The next ink is Pilot Awashizuku Murasaki Shikabu. Now this is an ink that I've used actually quite a lot, and I do like this ink. It's a very well behaving ink. So this is Pilot, and I'm just going to abbreviate it to Iro instead of Awashizuku, and this is Murasaki and it's Shikabu. And then the final ink we have is a Sailor Gentle ink. And this is Sailor Gentle Shigure. So we'll do another ink swatch. There you go. So this is Sailor and it's gentle and it's shigur so let's take a look at these inks one more time so we have Franklin Christoph Tenebri Perperatum and you can see here that this is actually quite a dark purple ink we have Cult Pen's Deep Dark Purple. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. See if I can put a little bit more light on this. But this has a huge amount of gold sheen on it there. Just picking up on the camera. We also have Diamine Bilberry, which again has gold sheen on it. But not as much, uh, I would say. But it's actually a little bit more goldy in colour, I guess because of... The ink is a little bit more lighter in colour, but you can just see that there compared to the Colt Pen's Deep Dark Purple. 
we have Diamine Grape, which is, I would say, probably a similar purple in terms of the writing sample as Colt Pen's Deep Dark Purple, but it doesn't have as much sheen going on there. So it does have some sheen, but not as much. We then have Montegrappa Violet, and that does have uh, some shading there and also some sheen, but again, not a lot of sheen. But these are not really, most of these inks, meant to be sheening monsters. We have J. Herbain, and this is Poisse de Lune, and you can see there that that doesn't have a lot of shading and it doesn't have any sheen to it, but it's actually a nice sort of purple colour. And then we have Waterman Tender Purple, which is uh, usually considered one of the more safer inks. Uh, certainly a lot of Waterman inks tend to be safer. Now, there's not a lot of shading going on there, but there is a little bit of sheen. Not a lot, though. But I have had that sheen uh, in pens before. We then have Pilot Awashizuku Murasaki Shikabu. And this is a more lighter version of that Waterman Tender Purple. Again, I've had it sort of in pens and it's been very easy to clean out. Uh, unlike some of the other more sheening inks that can be a lot more difficult to, to clean out. And then we have this ink, which is Sailor Gentle Shigure. Now, if you look at this, this has a huge amount of sheen going on and this ink I've used probably two or three times in the pen and I had a lot of hassle trying to get that ink out of the pen because it really is a sheen monster and what makes a sheening ink a monster is that it has a lot more dye content in the ink and that then means that the ink is more saturated and that makes it a lot more difficult to clean out a pen so any of the sheening inks are more likely to effectively stain a pen. So that's one thing you do have to be careful of with sheening inks. That's my purple inks comparison video number two. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.